Yo, what it do, hoes? What it do? It's your girl Fresh. It is Thursday. Oh, shit. Dude, my hair is like getting so long. It's unbearable right now. But, you know, I'm kind of broke at the moment, so I can't get no hair cut. The topics for this week are dealing with horrible roommates and falling for the uh, straight women or whatever have you. Pop my collar, cuz. Dealing with horrible roommates. Let me just say that if you already know you are in an environment where you feel uncomfortable coming home or you just can't deal with you know just certain habits that your roommate does and it just irritates you to come home or you're either scared to come home you need to figure out that situation ASAP because there's just a lot of things that could happen if you don't fix the issue that's at hand right away I've only had really one roommate I was in danger like being around this roommate he was a marine he was pretty chill you know in the beginning it was all good but he had some issues with his wife who ran away and things just got ugly because he would get drunk all the time one night i'm sleeping and i get a knock on my door and it's the police and i'm like what the fuck like my bedroom door like they're already inside the room there's all this commotion going on i get woken up and they're like we're taking your friend to the hospital he tried to commit suicide blah 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 and i'm like okay as soon as they cleared the apartment there was like at least i want to say 10 cops searching the place and i was like what the fuck is going on you know what i'm saying like i thought i was about to get arrested for some shit but when i passed the bathroom there was all this blood on the bathroom counter it looked like a damn crime scene like i was in a murder scene or some shit like i was like whoa and then i saw razor blades and all this shit at that moment i was like dude he gets drunk a lot this happens what if he ever tries to come at me some way and he's a marine okay so they 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 know all this combat shit so they got weapons and they got knives and he probably had a gun who knows and if he ever got drunk like crazy one night and just decided that okay i'm gonna target this bitch um then i would be in danger and nobody would know so he had to go downtown san diego to the psychiatric ward i was coming home kind of cautious with everything it was kind of scary because i'm not i'm not sure if he's gonna be home when i open the door or what you know like it was unpredictable and then sure enough after a few weeks i come home and he's home and he's like hey what's up you know and i told him the situation like dude i gotta go it's nothing against you but personally, for my own sake and for my own peace of mind, like, I need to get out of here. Since the time the cops took him up until he finally came back, like, during that time I had, I had already found a place, which is this place that I'm staying at right now. And, um, yeah, everything was cool. So that's what I'm saying is, like, if you ever know you're in danger for yourself and your roommate is kind of crazy, if anything, you don't want to put yourself in danger. So if you already see signs of danger or something that could in the end affect you and your own lifestyle and your own life and coming home and all that stuff like you need to handle that right away like be real with the person and tell them what's up and figure yourself out because you don't want to place yourself in a dangerous situation if you're dealing with a roommate that's just got habits and stuff that you just don't like and it's not working out it seems like you're picking up after them all the time or whatever like you need to be real with them don't just keep it bottled up inside and get pissed off and stuff like that behind closed doors when your roommate doesn't see that stuff like you need to tell them because both of you have this agreement to live together both of you need to uh come to an agreement of things if it has to deal with chores if it has to deal with you know bills whatever have you you need to come to an agreement uh, the best thing is most of the time people have contracts like I know it sounds kind of eh, but if you do have a written contract and they sign it off like it's there at least you have something like if any case if you have to go to court or something at least you have a contract for yourself and they signed it they dated it it's a case-to-case -case basis and you just have to figure out for yourself like do you want to deal with that do you want to live in an environment like that um, and if it's something you know that's bothering you speak up just let them know the situation because you don't want to just like shove it under the rug and let it go because you know everybody wants to come home after a long day at work after a long day at school and just be comfortable be relaxed and just chill you don't want to come home being all pissed off because you see your roommate's panties all over the living room or their fucking dishes are like everywhere and they're not washed and you got gnats flying around like you don't want to deal with that so just make sure everything's good and again if it's not working out figure it out 
right away before um, things, you know, get worse and so that you can get yourself out of that situation. That's all I gotta say. My hair is like fucked up, not cooperating with me today. And my ears itchy as hell. So I'm gonna let you guys go. Have a great gay rest of the week. Memorial weekend this uh, fucking Monday. The LC girls have something special planned for Monday. So I guess just stay tuned. Um, maybe in Maddie's video it'll be announced. I'm not sure. I will see you guys next week. Peace!